Hello, welcome back to Favorites with Laura. We're gonna jump right into this Timu haul. See if you can spot all the dupes. I swear, this bag was closed. It was closed. I open it up, take a little look around. There's no getting this stuff back. I swear, all this stuff came in that bag. And once again, the start of this video had my AC on, so I'm sorry for the noise. I'm gonna recap, and you're not even gonna know the difference, except the very first clip has my AC on. And then after that, you'll see. So we got this, and this Timu haul. These are lights, they're backlights that you put on the back of your TV, and it kind of gives that theater look, and it is USB cord uh, chargeable. It looks like it actually has a little tiny remote oh, control on there. So you're gonna see it all right here. So we got those. These are little containers that my daughter wanted for her stickers. And I thought it was a great idea. Um, they're about that size and most of the stickers are about that size. So I'm hoping that they're gonna work for her. And if you had a retail store or you're reselling or you're at a craft fair and you have some items that you wanna put into a container, what a great way to do it because they have the little hook here. So it flaps down when you're not using it, but you can prop it up when you want to hang it on one of those like pegboard uh, arms. And then it opens opens from the side and it locks down just like that. So you got 12 of those in here. The prices will be up on the screen like I normally do. Then my daughter loves yellow, so she wanted these Squishmelon type inspired um, squishy toys. And she picked out the banana, I picked out the pineapple. So she's gonna love those. She doesn't even know those. This is a media kit holder organizer. And what I mean by that, you could use it for anything, but what I'm going to use it for are my memory cards to get some of that memory off my phones and my other devices. Um, doing all the recordings and taking the pictures, I need to start moving that stuff off and onto memory cards. So I did buy a bunch from uh, Timu. I'll put some of the links below because I did get some of the memory card readers as well. And I have an iPhone, so it's a little bit different to connect the iPhone to get it to read a memory card. And um, I figured it out. So I might have to do a video because I can't I'm the only one who was struggling because I looked all over for inf instructions on how to do that. And, um, it wasn't easy to find. So tell me in the comments below if you want me to show you how to do that and I'll make a quick video on that. Um, so what I liked about these is this part right here. So it's double-sided like that. It's a got the panel there, but you can put all the charging cords in there for like memory, card reader. You could put an external hard drive in here and it's so compact, it does expand if you have the need for that. So you could really take your media kit that you need on the go while you're um, doing your videos. So that to me is like a YouTube uh, necessity and I got it in gray because I couldn't decide. I've been shopping for stocking stuffers and different little gifts that I'm gonna put together and, and gift bags and also my giveaway that when I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna, put out a video prior to that explaining the rules and how I'm going to be able to give back and hopefully make somebody's day and I'm blessed to be able to do that and I just uh, I've seen other haulers do this and I've actually won one myself so yeah reviews with Sue I won her box I did a video on that and you know what it's just it's so exciting um especially it grows the community it grows your your um relationship and friendships with some of these people so i'm i'm all about it and i've learned from some of them doing it that it is it's a great feeling so if i can make you feel better you're gonna make me feel better so these are the earrings i got look at that so i thought these were pretty have the little clasp like this let's see oh yeah okay so I don't know, is there a name for that type of clasp? Um, I have these other earrings in, but I just thought these were super pretty, super elegant, dainty, but yet uh, they have some weight to it. So it doesn't feel so cheesy. Or The one thing I've been really happy about are the pieces of jewelry that I have gotten from Timu. This is a dupe. 
And I bought these earrings. You can see the picture up here. And I don't know, but if I look it up and I find out what the dupe is for this, I'll put it up in the picture. But these are really, really pretty. So I bought a ring that I thought would go with it. Now the ring, okay, we're just gonna have to open it because I'm thinking this ring looks fake. I mean, not only is it fake, which all this is, oh, that has some weight to it too. So here's these earrings. They're just gorgeous. They're just gorgeous. So they have more the toned down gold tone, so it doesn't look so so yellow or fake. Um, but this ring definitely does. I don't like, uh, I don't know. Let's see. So there's the ring. What do you think? I don't think the light is capturing how how cheap the gold color is. It's If you know it, oh, it fits really well though. <laughs> Guys, I'm so fickled. What do you think? I don't think the light's capturing it right. It has a little bit of weight to it too. Will it capture it better? It's awfully sparkly. I don't know, for some costume jewelry to have some fun with, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's, it doesn't have the tinny feeling, you know, that really lightweight feel that is thin. Um, I don't know if I, if I stare at it too long, I'm going to like, okay, I love it. Um, if you're looking for something that looks real, I don't think that's going to be the one. Okay. And they definitely have those products out here on Timu. That is not it. That's what I'm going to say. My final answer is don't get that if you want it to look real. Okay, it's fun costume jewelry, and that's that. Moving on, she, my daughter wanted some of these stick-on stars. The only thing is they don't have the stickers on the back. You have to put these little pieces on them. Yeah, I guess that'll be fine. They're little tiny squares. So we'll let it sit under the light so she can have that tonight. This now, ring, because I didn't have enough one weighs heavier so I'm definitely sticking with my answer on the first one you guys that one is pretty I'm leaving that one on this is what do you think that is a pretty ring and it's not too little and tiny it has some volume to it I am in love with this ring Okay, we're gonna, wear it. we're gonna move on. I thought these were just fun, okay? So, let's see here. I wanted something big that hangs down. I don't know how long it's gonna hang. I mean, it could even go a charm elsewhere. Fashion jewelry, in case you were wondering. Um, it is kind of weight. What I liked about this is this is the gold tone one. And it's not flat on one side. It's rounded, so you don't have that, like, it's hollowed out and cheap fill. Um, that's a plus. Oh, it's not tied. Oh, okay. Um, so, I don't know if I would tie this or if I'm going to put a gold chain that I have. But, I guess you can make this as short or as long as you'd like. So, I kind of want it to hang down. But look how cute that is. Silver tone is one because sometimes I can't decide what I'm going to wear. But I think for my daughter, this is just fun. Just fun stuff. Look at that ring. So it kind of looks like um, the CCs, you know, is that Coach or Chanel? Um, that's what it looks like, a dupe or inspired dupe like that. And the stone like has a very light um, amethyst or lavender look to it that's pretty okay and then I got some other um, who doesn't need one of these once in a while now if you have teenagers and you need a screwdriver around the house and you have a place for it but every time you go there it's not there <sighs> so they have this 
I'm going to keep this with me. And let's see. So this unscrews here. And then in here are all your little pieces. You get, what do you get? One, two, three, four, five, six pieces in here. Different size screwdriver, bits, flathead. Um, so there's three different of each. Oh, it does have the hexagon um, one too. It's kind of small, but I'm primarily looking always for a Phillips head or a flathead. Almost always never there anymore. So I thought this is cute to have in an area that only I will have it. Um, probably my purse. And then you would just put it down here. Oh, I should try that. <laughs> Cause I'm, you know, I'm opening this stuff like the first time also everybody. So bear with me. Oh, okay. So it's magnetic. It just fits right in there. Pull it out and then it holds it. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Glad we tried that because I am here to review and that sometimes so it comes in various colors and you can decide which one works for you. We're almost to the really, really fun stuff. <laughs> this is pretty fun though. So, you know, this, so this is just a long silver necklace with the gold um, piece right here. That's kind of gold tone coloring. And this is what I was talking about with those hearts, how it, it was rounded all the way around the hearts. This, this is not, but this was the free item um, that I selected, I'm pretty sure. And you'll see that in the picture next to me. So, yeah, I mean, it's got the snake type of char uh, necklace chain, and it does hang very long. So I do like that, and for costume jewelry, be right back. Okay, so now we're getting on to some other important items here. Put that down there. This kept popping up. I wasn't sure, but it kept popping up. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna take a look at it because I haven't really heard too many people haul it. And it just made me curious. Okay, so it has a very cheesy strap. It's very cheap feeling, so that's done. Um, but here's the bag. It is a tote, so it's a very large sectional tote. It does have a full zipper top to it. Um, fabric inside, which is funny because the outside is very, really cheesy plastic. Um, yeah, I don't remember how much this was, but I do not recommend this product. Um, it does have an inside compartment here that zips. You can hear that? So it has actually two compartments that zip. So it has the the side pocket that zips and then it has this scepter piece that zips and it is sewn all the way to the bottom so you won't have things going underneath that they almost spent more time on the inside than the outside oh, now it is a tote i don't like the i don't like the strap at all um the handles the handles are stitched okay the hardware there is gold Yeah, you know, this just seems cheap to me. It does. I'm not, I'm not gonna say it's not. This was my favorite tote that I hauled in another episode of uh, Favorites with Laura, and I still love it. I'm using that a lot. Now, I bought this little sundress, and hopefully I can try it on and show you. We're gonna see it come up. I love the pattern. The fabric is soft and cottony. I know it's not. We all know it's not. We know that this has a lot of polyester, which if it feels soft, I'm okay with as long, because for one, it's not gonna shrink up when you wash it. Polyester doesn't. Now, if it's blended with something, you Be still careful. have because that can cause, oh, I finally got to the tag. So the tag's down low. So it's 100% polyester, okay. Um, super soft, does have a little sheen to it, but that just kind of makes it a little dressier. So I'm okay with that. And the V-neck, it's a must have. I love the V-neck. Now, remember this dress, I'm gonna hold it up in a second. 
I bought this to go with it. I don't have something like this. And it's a little summer tote. Um, it's got the, the cutout. This is like a very yellowy tan color. Um, I love the lace. The straps, again, are a little bit cheap. But what I liked about this tote, first of all, I love the look of it. So for a casual day out, I like this feature of it. It has the drawstring canvas bag on the inside. So you can take it out or you can put it in. And a magnetic closure there to keep everything down. So I do like this bag. Not crazy about the straps, but then again, I knew what I was getting when I made the purchase at this price. But I thought, how cute would that bag look because of the coloring with this dress? Pretty cute, huh? It pulls out this color right there. So, and just the way the lace is, <laughs> yeah, I do like this outfit. So I'm gonna probably put that on to model, um, and it did come with a dust cover, so, okay. I'm not, I think it's a cute little, little setup, a cute little outfit. Okay, so here's the last thing from that bag. Um, and if you are shocked, you have not watched enough of my hauls to know, not to be shocked that I got another purse. So I had a person make a comment who was following me and I'm grateful for that about purses. And we just really connected on that level. I mean, come on, you had me at purses or bags or something like that. And she was talking to me about what she got and how, how she's just uh, really in love with some of the purses she's picked out. And she showed me one, she sent me a message and showed me one. And I was like, oh my gosh. I liked what she had, but they came in various colors. So I went with this one instead. Right away, the handles feel, it's faux leather, the textured faux leather. And it has a really, it does have a good feel to it. It's soft. Okay, I got that off of there. And it says, I don't know what it says. Dan Boulay. <laughs> oh, Timu. <laughs> How pretty is that purse? Gold trim and... Oh, okay. So these have like little rhinestones in there. See how they sparkle? Sparkle, sparkle. It's got the feet on the bottom. The stitching seems pretty good. Seems to be like a moist something there. I don't know. Somebody's oil finger print there. Um, it seems very even around. Maybe right there it's not that great, but that's on the bottom. I can live with that. Um, the quilted front. Here's a good picture of that. And then it's not quilted on the back. So we used to like, this is like a doctor's bag, the old fashioned doctor's bag. So it's got a double zipper here that opens like that. Oh, I totally forgot about this. So I, Tony, I wonder if that's a character from China. I don't know what that means. I love Coney. It's a rubber little charm. So I'll be in that to my daughter here. <laughs> She's, she'll have that. And then there's another strap in here. So how does that feel? Well, it definitely feels better than the last couple of straps I've opened up here. And it does not seem like it's going to be long enough for a crossbody, but maybe because it, it was totally collapsed. It could be, it could end up being a crossbody. Does it match? It kind of yeah. matches. It's not, it's not great. Um, the fixtures here feel pretty thin. And we all know if you watched one haul, you've watched a couple. Um, I can change this out to a gold chain strap, which I think would look really cute with this. So let me, let me put this inflated balloon in there that made it all the way. And then we have some more paper in here. 
I love it that the center, so it's got three sections here, middle, zipper compartment, side compartment that's zippered, and one big slip pocket on the middle there, on the side, I mean. So you can see that. And this is like the fabric that was in the really, um, that brown bag I showed earlier. But yeah. There's actually two layers of zippers here. Oh no, that's the middle. Okay, I see. Yeah. And then the zipper top. So close that like that. And then it's always fun to try to do these zippers while you're on camera. Zipper, I like that. Yeah, that's a cute little bag. I think that's adorable. So something different. I don't know if I can pull that off. Oh, I might be able to pull that off. I wonder if it would leave a mark though. This is my favorite and the way it closes opens like a doctor's bag from the old days. Oh, look at it. It's even got the rhinestones here and on that side. Yeah, that's pretty cute. Super cute. I'm happy with this purchase. Hello, thank you for watching Favorites with Laura. If you like this video, please remember to hit subscribe and like. And if you want to be alerted when I have new videos go up, hit the little bell. Thank you.